The indigenous Sami people of Scandinavia have a unique musical tradition, yoiking. A yoik is a song made up of sounds rather than words, and each one belongs to a person or a thing, a landscape. It's almost like a name. There's a Scottish musician called Merlin Driver who grew up in the wilds of the Orkney Isles who's been working with Sami musicians and who's been telling Outlook about them and their songs. All week I'd been working on the Sami's big indigenous music festival called Ridu Ridu and it was a pretty hectic time but I managed to coordinate meeting one of the most respected traditional yoikas from one of the most respected traditional yoiking families. His name is Antti Mikkel Gaup. The day after the festival, he loaded us all into his car. There were three of us, plus Anti Mikkel. And basically, we just went up this uh, river in the tundra until it was quiet enough, until the local cows had stopped mooing and they were far away enough. And we set up something like 11 microphones, <laughs> including one which is completely in the middle of this uh, quite wide river. In your mind, you do this? It's in my, oh, in my mind. Yes. And I asked him to use the river to help him that's really nice. Bring about a new yoik. So we try that? Great. Okay. I was sitting behind Auntie Mikkel and just grinning constantly because it was something that I had been wanting to do for so long and it was a really bright sunny day and there was a very uh, gentle sort of sound of water close to us but there was also a much faster flowing part of the water in the middle. He was yoiking in mind with the, the source of the river far away uh, inland and the song, my favourite yoik that he did, it built and built with the sea in mind as well, so when the little river was meeting the sea. Every single yoik traditionally belongs to something, so if somebody heard a yoik and if they didn't know it, they would say, to whom or to what does this yoik belong? For example, there's a, a yoik for the long-tailed duck, and it mimics the sound that the duck makes. It's something like, ah, ang, ah, ah, ang, ah. Music and nature, they are my two passions. I come from a family of conservationists and biologists, and I come from a childhood where I was surrounded by music. My, my sister and the rest of my siblings are all fiddle players. When I found a way to connect these two things, or rather when I found a place where these things are connected, I just got really excited. And since then I've, I've found that there are many other places where music and nature has connected in these ways. <laughs>